First law is that all behavioral traits are uh, heritable. Second law is that effects of genes are stronger than effects of families, which are often uh, weak to zero. The third law is there's a lot of variation that is neither genetic nor familial. Now, people have a lot of trouble wrapping their heads around this because everyone thinks, oh, well, there's heredity, there's environment, the more heredity, the less environment, and vice versa. But actually, that turns out not to, not to really be true. At least if you consider the environment to be something that you could really look at or measure, like the effects of families. And when you have even identical twins who come from an egg splitting into two, there could be a mutation that develops in one fertilized egg and embryo, but not in the other. There are mutations that develop as uh, in our bodies as we grow and develop that could be different in the two twins. There could be factors in brain development that the genes can't control down to the last synapse. 